Hey, uh, in this video I'll be showing you how to make this shader um, which imitates uh, the player interacting with foliage. Uh, if you just want the shader resource you can just download it in the description. Um, I'll be showing you how to make this with a visual shader um, just so it's a bit uh, easier to explain some of the ideas but I'll also be going over a written version of the shader at the end. Okay, so to start with I've set up this simple scene which is just a ground plane, which is a mesh instance with a plane shape, um, 8 times 8 and a player, which is another mesh instance with a capsule, which I've shrunk a little bit and, and turned around and then I've set up a directional light with shadows um, and a world environment just with some SSAO and um, tone mapping set to film it just so we have nicer light in the scene We'll use Blender to model a grass draw. So as is tradition, we'll start out with deleting the default cube and then we'll use Shift A to create a plane. We'll go into edit mode by pressing tab, press R for rotate, X to use the X axis and press in 90 for 90 degrees. Then we can press G to move, set to move on the set axis and control move it up. And then we can uh, select the two topmost uh, vertices, press M to merge and add center. Then we can uh, exit back out of edit mode and we can go into um, the transform by pressing N and here we can set the size of it. So we'll say that it'll be uh, 10 centimeters wide and 50 centimeters tall. And then we'll just use Control A and um, all transforms to uh, reset the scale we used. So now we just need to ensure that the UV layout is correct. So we can go over into the UV editor. And here we can just go into edit mode, select all with A. Then see it from the Y axis by clicking here. And then press U for UV unwrapping and use project from view bounds and then we have a good UV layout. Now we are done with our model so we'll go up to file export and we'll export it as an OBJ because we just need a simple file. Okay we will just go into desktop and we will save it here as straw and we'll choose selection only as we only want the model. And Back in our project, we now want to generate a little field of grass, so we'll start out by dragging a copy of the straw into our scene. Here. And we'll create um, a multi mesh instance, which we'll use to make a lot of copies of the straw. So if we select the multi mesh, we can use populate surface. And as the target, we can set the ground. As the source, we can set the straw and we can set the random rotation all the way up. We can increase the tilt a little bit. Maybe increase the randomness for the scale a bit as well. And then we can set a good high number like 10,000. And there we have a field of grass. Okay, now we can get started on our shader. So if we select the Multimus instance under Material Override, we can select the new shader material, click it, and set a new visual shader and if we click that we'll get the shader editor up here so uh, first and foremost we need to make the grass green so let's create a color uniform and we'll just call that albedo and we'll plug that into the albedo and that immediately appears here and we will make the grass green we also want to um, set the call mode to be disabled just so we see both sides of the grass. Now that's actually all we want to do in the fragment shader. Everything else we'll be doing will be in the vertex shader. Okay, so to get started, what we want to do is to make the grass move away from the player. So first and foremost, we need a um, player position in here and we'll do that by creating a vector uniform. We'll call, call that the player position. And um, we'll later be setting this with the script, but for now it'll just be at zero, which is fine. That's also where our player is right now. So um, to get a direction from the player to the grass, we need to take the position of the grass, which is the vertex, and we need to subtract 
um, the player's position. Uh, there's a bit of a problem here though because the vertex is actually in model space um, whereas the player position is obviously in world space so we'll need to um, um, get this into um, into world space first and we can do that with the transform uh, vector multiplication and with the world matrix. So now this should be correct. Okay, so now we have a uh, direction, but there's still, still some issues with this. Um, for one thing, we don't actually want there to be any um, Y directionality in this. We only want to push in and out um, on the X and C axis. So we'll just uh, multiply um, with a vector that has a 1 in the 2 axis we want and 0 in the Y axis. So then we'll 0 out this, uh, the Y axis. Also, uh, another issue with this direction is that um, the further away, um, the larger the values are getting. That's not really re what we want. We just want directionality. So to fix that, we will um, normalize the value. Okay, so uh, that's all looking good. Um, now we would think that we would be able to add this value to the original vertex value and we would be pushing away the grass straws. But the problem is that we're still in world space here, so we have to move back into model space. So to do that, we will again multiply by the world matrix. But this time we'll do it the opposite way around. So we are going back into um, into the into model space now. And then if we uh, take the vertex here, of course, if we just put that in here, nothing happens, but if we, oh, we need to add with a vector, if we add in all our fancy calculations here, we can see it does indeed move away, just like we wanted. Um, but of course there's a couple of problems with this. So obviously we don't want the entire grass draw to be pushed away, uh, only the top of it. So uh, to fix that, we'll use the UV, which we ensured were set up correctly before. We'll use a decompose node, because we only want the y-axis. So if we uh, multiply with the with the y-axis, our calculation here, oh, let's try that again, then you'll see that uh, something did happen, but it wasn't quite the right thing, and that is because the the UV coordinates um, go in the opposite direction from what we want. But uh, luckily, that's easily fixed. We'll just use a, a one minus node to uh, invert the value. So if we just do this, then we're getting the right result. Now it's pushing away from it, but um, of course there's still some issues here. Uh, the big issue being that. Um, it's pushing away no matter how far away it is from the player. Um, so to fix this, we can um, cal calculate the, the length uh, between uh, the vertex um, and the player. So to do that, we'll just do uh, the length. Oh, we should do the length between the subtract there. Um, and we can use this uh, length value uh, to drive a uh, a smooth uh, step, we'll actually make it drive this, um, and then if we uh, multiply with this value as well, you'll see we'll start getting something much more like we want. Let's have a look here. might be a little bit difficult to see here, but uh, now we're only moving um, the grass draws that are really close by. And actually, the value here acts as um, a distance or radius, so if we increase this, we'll increase the radius that they're being moved. Now, to make this a bit easier to control, we'll just add in a couple more uniforms, so we'll uh, take a scalar uniform and we'll call that uh, radius and we'll put that in here 
and then you can see that goes down to nothing because the the radius was zero but we'll make it one instead and then we can uh, create another scalar uniform and we'll call this um, force and we'll just um, multiply by that right before the last step here and that means we can now control how much the grass is bending so we'll set that to uh, dot five so now the um, the only thing we really need to do is to um, be able to control this with the player instead of uh, as a value here now to make it the player that's actually interacting with the grass uh, let's add a script and we'll just uh, add in the tool keyword just so we can see this happening inside the editor and we'll just need uh, process function and then we just need to get uh, access to the the grasses material so we'll say uh, get parent and get node multi-mission instance um, material override and then set shader param and we called it play up us and then we'll just give that the global transform dot origin which is the, the global position and we'll save that out let's try and oh, accidentally close the scene and then if we select the player now and move him we'll see that the grass is indeed moving around the player and let's just go over the shader in a written form here and as you can see it actually ends up being quite a short little shader so we do the same stuff right we disable call we have an albedo we have a player position we have a multiplier for the power and a multiplier for the radius and we start out uh, getting the vertexes over into world matrix by doing a matrix multiply, multiplication we figure out the direction by uh, subtracting uh, we clear the, the y value in a different way but it's the same thing in the end right we normalize the direction uh, we calculate um, a distance which we use to drive the smooth step and then um, here we get the direction um, back into uh, model view space um, and then down here we just um, add the direction plus the the powers and the the uv minus one so it's all the same stuff in the end and it works exactly the same way uh, thank you for watching uh, if you like this tutorial and would like to support me in making more tutorials and open source projects like my good add-ons uh, consider supporting me on patreon uh, thanks to my patrons little mouse games winston johannes wunsch space chase zero dimitri keen and marcus victor